Creating unity in the community was the theme of this year's Kwanzaa celebration at St. Helena's Church, located in the Parkchester section. Created in 1966 by activist Mulana Karanga, Kwanzaa, which begins the day after Christmas and ends on January 1st, recognizes seven core principles each day. The fourth day cooperative economics, also known as Ujama, was the focus as merchants and vendors filled the space. I think it's a great practice because you begin, you show love to people. Agnes Clark, surrounded by brightly colored pieces, including these sterling silver earrings, was just one of many participating. Next to her was Sandra George Parson. What I have here are sweaters that I make, crochet and knitted sweaters for babies. I go up to size two toddler and uh, I do it all year round. I've been knitting and crocheting since 2004 and I really enjoy it because it's very therapeutic. From sweaters to notebooks, handmade ready to wear in colorful traditional African fabrics to this face painting booth, organizer Deborah Oguama was there to make sure there was something for everyone while honoring Karenga's work. African Americans, we have to remember that our language was taken away from us, our traditions were taken away from us, our names were taken away from us, so he felt that we should have something that we should celebrate. Along with cooperative economics, the other days are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, purpose, creativity, and faith. This is very important that we take custody of our own heritage because it'll help us move forward in the future. Now this is the ninth annual celebration here at St. Helena's Church. It's a celebration that continues to grow each year with many coming out to hear more about African-American culture. For Bronx Net, this is Arlene McCoco.